Hey guys, this is Joanna for Engadget, and I am looking right now at the Motorola Droid X. You may know it as the Shadow, but that's probably just the hardware code name. And we're just going to give you a short tour of this pretty, uh, pretty cool phone right now. It's really slim here. You've got sort of this hump in the back. I'll just give you a hardware tour right now. Here you've got a 8 megapixel camera with a, a light and flash that is pretty bright. Um, just really nice hardware look and feel. You've got a camera button here, two volume rocker up there. You've got HDMI out and your USB charging here. So just nice in hand. Obviously um, pretty pretty large. Let's go back to the home screen here and compare it to this Evo. Um, feels larger than the Evo as you can see there and we'll turn those screens on. Um, but so definitely the Evo competitor coming to Verizon and we'll show you a little bit now what's going on here on the um, home screen. So you're running um, this new version of Motorola, Motorola's Blur. Um, we don't know what they're calling it. There's rumors of it being called Ninja Blur. So um, just it looks a little bit different than the original Blur. Not as much as like those in-your-face widget updates. Um, obviously the owner of this phone hasn't customized a lot of it. Um, but you'll notice here on the bottom, this is one of the first things we've noticed. They have sort of these home page buttons so you can go to the different pages uh, instead of swiping all the way through. Um, pretty cool. But really, like, the main thing we've noticed in playing around with this phone for the last few minutes is just how snappy it is. Um, let's go here to Gadget. Where was our Gadget? Um, it just feels really snappy. Um, our, our friend here who has been using the Evo says it feels faster than the Evo, um, though I haven't used the Evo in, like, daily use. Full and gadget experience. Um, so just really like smooth scrolling. Let's go back. And excuse the background noise here. We're meeting at a outdoor coffee shop. Um, just super, super fast. Let's just go through the menus here. Um, what else did I want to show? show the Blockbuster. This is pretty interesting. Came preloaded with Blockbuster, um, which we haven't really seen before on an Android app. Um, looks like there's going to be some sort of vCast integration. Let's go back here. Just wanted to show the camera real quick. So the camera records 720p at 30 frames per second, and uh, the quality on screen looks really, really nice. I'm not sure that's coming up there, but it's really, really crisp on screen, and we watched some playback, and that was really cool as well. Um, and let's just show that playback real quick to just end off the video and show sort of how quick and snappy that is. So just playing back a, uh, it's actually the full-length movie of Hot Tub Time Machine, and uh, it's actually a DivX movie you can see here that's an ABI file. But uh, also just the screen is really nice. We're outdoors right now, and there's really not a lot of glare or uh, issues viewing from this side. We're not really actually big fans of the uh, sort of glass trim or border here, um, though it could be good for checking your teeth, I guess. Um, but just gives it sort of a, a more glare than usual. So this is actually, you know, a, a, real, a, a real first look at the uh, Droid X. Uh, we're definitely don't know anything about pricing or availability, but uh, this actually looks pretty close to final as far as we're concerned. Uh, we'll let you know when we hear more.